Hello and welcome to this session everyone. My name is Yogesh Mehta. In this quick session, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create your AWS EC2 Windows instance using Ansible. We all know Ansible is very powerful tool. Ansible is open source automation engine that automates software provisioning, configuration management and application deployment. Ansible can manage any Unix like uh, platform using SSH as a connectivity agent and Windows system using WebRM. Ansible have hundreds of modules to support uh, AWS services and various Windows management tasks. And enterprises are always after automation as it saves cost, time, and reduces human errors. Also, management is easy. In this lab, I'm going to demonstrate how you can spin a new Windows 2016 EC2 instance using the Ansible. What are the prerequisites? First prerequisite you should have Ansible installed and access to Amazon resources configured. When you say Amazon resources, that's basically Amazon access. So you can access the Amazon APIs using command line. I have already written a playbook which I am going to demonstrate in a couple of minutes. It creates EC2 security group and allows traffic on port 3389, 5986, port 80 and ICMP. Then it creates EC2 instance using the supply settings which are basically variables in my Ansible playbook. Also, I pass user data where I set the desired admin password. I can show that uh, when I'm creating instance using Ansible Playbook. After that, my Playbook waits for some time for when RM to start listening. It means uh, my instance is completely up, my Ansible can connect with the new instance, everything is good. So that's something I'm ensuring during the Playbook execution. At the end, I go to another task which prints the public DNS and public IP of the new EC2 instance. So you can easily grab that uh, DNS or IP and connect using RDP. Recommendations as in demo, I'm setting Ansible password in Playbook. So that's safe. Uh, but again, uh, I have secured my Playbook using Ansible Vault. So no one can see what password I'm setting. So that's recommendation. How you execute the playbook? Simply Ansible playbook and the playbook name with option dash dash ask dash vault dash pass. Basically, it is going to ask what is your vault password. So it means uh, only the guys who have that password can run that playbook. So that's security. As a test, I'm going to connect once instance is closed, which will give me confirmation everything is good, our credentials are working. So let me quickly show you the Ansible playbook which I have written. So guys, uh, this is my Ansible master server. Here I got Ansible already installed and uh, Amazon access configured. In case you are not aware how to install Ansible on Linux, how to configure access for Amazon on Linux, you can refer previous videos which I have recorded. You can easily find those videos on my YouTube channel. So here I'm in directory called uh, etc Ansible EC2 Windows. This is directory which I created for this particular lab. And uh, I got two files. One is YAML file, which is basically my playbook. And one is J2, basically that's Jinja2 template. In this template, I'm setting the Ansible variable to set the password on a remote system. What I'm doing here, I'm saying admin state a user set password with this particular variable and from where this variable value will come that will come from this playbook after that i'm using invoke expression which basically i am using this particular powershell script which is on remote system i'm downloading and executing it locally this powershell script is from ansible and uh, this script is going to enable the WinRM module, WinRM is basically Windows Remote Management module, which allows to manage the Windows system using command line from a remote system. So that's a requirement for Ansible to manage Windows machines. 
So, so far it looks good. So guys, uh, let me show you this file. If I do cat on this file, you will be able to see junk data. You can see because I have encrypted this playbook. Okay, so how, so here I'm going to put my void password. This is playbook. So let me explain. These three dashes mean playbook is starting. This is comments. So I have added comment what this playbook is doing. Then next thing is host variable. You can see it is running locally, local host. In variables, I have defined Windows EC2 security group. This is going to be security group, which my playbook have to use. AWS region need to be US West 2. The instance type would be T2 large. Which particular AMI to use? Use this AMI. What is going to be Ansible password? Ansible password is the password which we are using as administrator password so this will be administrator password then what the task this playbook is doing let me scroll down in the task this is ec2 group module which i'm using i'm creating a group name description is this one then region is it amazon region these are variables so all this data is picked from here here this will be value here. So that's called variable. Then in rules, I'm using port 80, 3389, 5986, and ICMP traffic allowing in this particular group. The next module I'm using that's EC2 module, this one. In EC2 module, I'm saying create an EC2 instance. This need to be instance type, image use this particular AMI ID, wait yes, because uh, uh, Amazon instance will be not immediately available. So I'm just waiting for 500 seconds. Count one, one instance required, whether I want to put any tag. So I'm putting two tags. Name is this one, owner is this particular value. Monitoring, I'm saying don't use monitoring. Go with whatever default. In group, which particular security group to be used, that's here. In user data, what user data to be used? Here I'm using uh, template lookup. So this is the way to look up template. And I have already display this particular ginger to template to you where i'm setting password and enabling windows winrm module then whatever the output of this command register it in this particular variable ec2 underscore out once that is done the next thing i'm checking whether winrm is up on remote host or not so here i'm using wait for module port 5986 which is basically winrm port on remote machine host which particular host to try i'm just putting item dot public ip timeout i'm setting it to 300 which is five minutes because usually windows instance take three to four minutes to come up completely so i'm putting five minute timeout state started when this particular port is started with item which particular instance to look for here ec2 out dot instances ec2 out is the this particular data which we got from there whatever the instances it got try to connect to those once that is successful at the end uh, just display a message i'm using debug module displaying a message saying system this particular public dns name has public ip get this public ip from where it will get the data it will get the data from ec2 underscore out ec2 underscore out this particular where we put all the output from ec2 instance creation that's it guys that's my playbook i'm going to put this playbook on uh, a shared site so you can anytime get that playbook uh, for your testing only thing you have to put your own variables so you can get uh, the download uh, link from uh, youtube video description so guys this was playbook i'm just quoting from here so let's create our first ec2 instance so guys, you can see on screen, I just executed this playbook. Ansible playbook is the command to execute a playbook. This is the playbook which I just demonstrated. And I've chosen the option dash dash ash dash world password. It asked me my world password. So I have typed my world password. So first thing it did, it gathered the facts. Then it set up uh, the security or firewall group that is done. That's good. After that, it provisioned a EC2 Windows instance. And you can see here changed. Why here? is okay not change because that security firewall group was already existing so that's good in case that group not exists my playbook is going to create that particular group 
After that, uh, it is waiting for when RM to come upon uh, that particular instance. So it may take three to four minutes. I will pause this video for that duration. Okay, basically it took two minutes this time. So it, this time it was quick. So you have seen up to this particular thing. Now the task was to wait for WinRM to come up. And you can see it gave us output. So WinRM is up. And uh, you can see here, this is the instance ID of new instance. This is the private IP address. And this is the public IP. And somewhere here would be public IP address, public DNS. So it, here is public DNS. So we got all thing and as a debug, uh, as I mentioned, I have added a message, this one, system, this particular public DNS name as this public IP. So guys, our instance is created and it's up and running. So let's try to connect to this particular instance. I'm just grabbing my password. So password was an Ansible Vault. How I can see Ansible Vault password? I can run Ansible Vault. Let's run edit. That's fine. Here was the password. Test at 2017. That's not a good password, but that's fine for this demo. So let's try to connect to this particular public name. So here I have launched a remote desktop connection, added a public DNS name of my server, and uh, in user I'm selecting user the user because I have to connect that as administrator. Password, which we just discussed, give me an OK. So it should uh, connect to the instance if everything is good. Nice, we are lucky, everything worked fine. So we got our Windows instance creating, created using Ansible. So as I mentioned, first thing you have to do, just change your password to whatever your standards. So that's it in this session, guys. If you have any query, any suggestion, you can always uh, post a comment on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned.